Welcome back to my new video. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Apache Spark on Docker. Okay, so um, let's go to uh, spark.apache.org. So Spark is just a unified engine for large scale data analytics. Okay, so um this is how you can install it on your local machine using pip install and um this is just a quick start and then some machine learning a snippet of code and data analytics and data science snippet of code how to read data and things like that um so it has uh, various languages like python sql scala java and r so to download it you click on this download link and then probably select your package type and then the version you are looking at so once you click on number three you should be able to download it to your local machine and unzip it uh, but we are not going to use this approach we are going to use um, docker to install um, uh, this image. So if we click on, let's say, convenient Docker images, let's click on it and see what we get. Okay, so this is Apache Spark Pi. Um, we are not going to use this approach to run it, but I'm going to use a different image. Um, you can check this link later on if you have the chance. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to search for um, Bitnami Apache Spark. So you can see so many images. Um, so we are going to use this one, Bitnami Spark. It's a verified publisher. So it's a Bitnami Spark Docker image. So I'm going to click on this one. Once you click on it, you see how to use the Docker Compose. So once you copy this link and then paste it in your terminal, you'll be able to download this Docker Compose.yaml file. And then the next thing you do is to do um, Docker Compose app. So I have downloaded this um, YAML file. So um, I'll just switch back to. Um, my code editor, and then um, we take it from there. Yeah, so um, we are back to the code editor. Um, so the YAML file I was talking about is this, this is the content. It has a version, there are the services, and then it has two services, the Spark service, and then the Spark worker um service and it's running on uh, port 8080 and these are the envir environment variables set for the spark master and these are the environment variables set for the spark workers and then you can see the images for each of and the spark version that is using is 3.3 .3. and um yeah so and inside the folder i have some few files here um this file csv file and then a json file and then another json file okay so what we are going to add is a volume so that it can map the volume from our a local machine into the the container okay the docker container so we are just going to pass volume in here and then we say um, the current working directory and then colon, colon, forward slash, let's say OPT spark. Okay. So basically that is all we, we're doing. We're mapping the volume from our current working directory to this um, 
location inside the Docker container. Okay, so this is all we need to add. So I'm going to save the file. And once I save it, um, this is the file you are talking about, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do now is to run the, run this Docker Compose YAML. So I'm going to say Docker hyphen Compose app. So, and then I'm going to run this at the background. So you put in dash D. Um, so make sure that you have Docker installed before you start this process. So I'm just going to hit enter. So I'm going to pause the video whilst it's still installing and then we come back. So as you can see, the Spark, uh, Spark worker is done and then a Spark one is also done. So what we can do now is to say Docker PS. So as you can see, um, it's up 28 seconds ago and it's running on this uh, port 8080. And then this is the name of the Spark. Um, and then this is the container ID. So I'm going to co copy the container ID and then I'm going to exec into it. So I'm going to say Docker exec. Um, and then I paste in the container ID and then I hit enter. So as you can see, um, let's check the file system. So as you can see, it has the bin, the example for this, everything here. So now you remember our path was OPT forward slash spark. So we are going to CD into that directory. Okay, so let me go step back and then list. Okay, so as you can see, we have two um, folders here. And then once we see the into Spark and then check the content, you see that our CSV, our JSON, and then our Docker um, a YAML file is here. Okay, so what we are going to do is, um, I'm going to, um okay let me just use the same terminal it doesn't matter um okay let me switch to a different terminal so that everything looks much better okay so we are in a new terminal We are in a new terminal, and then we are in the same directory as um, as the Docker Compose um, .yaml file. So I'm going to paste in um, is Docker, and then we exec into it. So if you check the working directory, you see. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Spark shell so it's going to go out and um, start um, spark for us using a scala um, environment so as you can see now we have um, spark installed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to read in those CSV files. Um, so I'm going to say val df is equal to spark dot read dot format. 
Then I'm going to say CSV dot, I think it's option header is true. And then we're going to load where the CSV is located. Um, so let me check the name one more time. So this is the name. I'm going to copy that and paste it here. And then um, hit enter. So it's so now, as you can see, we have um, a data frame with all these fields. So what we can do is we can say df dot let's say print schema print schema. So as you can see, these are all the fields: ID, age, experience, income, and all of that. And then let's just select do some simple manipulation. Okay, so let's just select three fields. Okay, so we're gonna say df dot select. Let's say age, income, and then let's say um, family, family. And then probably the last one should be, um, let's see zip code, we'll try that. And then we say dot show, dot show. Okay, so as you can see, these are the selected fields, okay. And what if we want to filter the, just the ages that are greater than um, 30 years? Okay, so we can, we can do this and say filter and then age greater than 30. And then we show. You see, these are all the fields or the records with age greater than 30, okay? Yeah, so um, basically that is all. Um, if you want more of these videos, um, I'm going to start a recording videos on, on Apache Spark. So watch the channel for more of these videos. And um, if you like this video, don't forget to um, share and like um, the video and subscribe also, and that will help the channel grow. Um, yeah, if you try it and you have any issue, um, don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section below and I'm ready to help you. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.